Oh! Molly, what the f are you doing? But of course, I'm gonna have to take care of every f thing. What, 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 what? Get your fucking leg out! Oh, sh! Bonjour tout le monde, my name is Lucael, and welcome back to Telltale's The Walking Dead. You might notice a little something different in this video. <laughs> That's right, I finally got a green screen that works. Like, I tried buying one and then th this one didn't work, and so I had to kind of craft one on my own, but uh, this one seems to work okay, so... Very happy about that. It's just kind of a minor detail, but uh, it means you get to see more of the game, and you get to see less of my boring closet doors. <laughs> Please be uh, forgiving if there's any issue with the green screen, like if you see stuff popping out or, like, you know, I'm still kind of calibrating it and uh, learning how to use it properly, so, uh, but hopefully you like the change. Alright, so today we're gonna finish episode 4 of season 1 of Walking Dead. In the last episode, the group arrived to Savannah. They met this scavenger girl called Molly. Unfortunately, Chuck died while trying to help us escape. Uh, which really sucks. And then after getting lost in the sewers, Lee also met this small community that lives like down there in the sewers, and along with this doctor called Vernon. We did end up finding a boat, however, the boat is missing like a battery and some uh, some other stuff. And so the only way for us to get this stuff now is to sneak into this community called Crawford, which apparently they're like very extreme people. They're like they're like super ruthless. They don't allow like injured people. They don't allow children. Like they're from the way they talk about them, they're very extreme and dangerous. So, uh, so what a good idea to try and like sneak into their place and steal their stuff. I'm sure nothing wrong is gonna happen. I'm sure it's all gonna go smoothly. We also made the decision to allow Clementine to accompany us, which I'm still. Might have been a bad idea, but uh, we're locked in now, so we're just gonna have to we're just gonna have to deal with the consequences. So yeah, I'm putting my camera here in the bottom. There shouldn't be any interference with the subtitles. So uh, if you have any feedback on my uh, green screen or the camera, please let me know. So without further ado, guys, let's jump right back in. And yeah, I did notice Ben had some hesitation. It seems so. I'm kind of worried that he might consider joining. Crawford instead. He's failed this at every turn so far. I keep giving him chances, but... <sighs> Check out what I found in the garage. He hasn't pulled his weight at all. Saw, some other tools might come in handy on this little break-in. Weapons. Nice. Can I talk to you a minute? Oh, What's you're up? probably not happy Take about... another look at the boat. She's a 30-footer. So? You're saying we can't so bring we're everyone. have a capacity problem. Uh. Assuming everyone makes it back alive, there ain't gonna be room for everyone. Uh. Just giving you a heads up is all. Thought you ought to know. Okay, well thanks for letting me know, Kenny. Kenny keeps going back and forth between like being really a cool guy and then being the really is this? unreasonable. This is Bree, she can help us. Bree? How? I was a student at the school where Crawford keeps their supplies. I know the layout. With her help, we're in and out fast. Could be useful. Anyone have a problem with that? I guess not. Then what are we waiting for? I guess Let's not. <laughs> Man, uh, I thought someone was gonna be like, "Why the fuck are you bringing Clementine?" But it hold seems like no one's really. Are you ready? Ready. Hey, whoa, hold on a minute. You're yeah. not taking her with us. Did you not hear anything I said about the kind of place Crawford is? I can't leave her if with you. If you take her in there and they find her. This little girl's not just excess baggage. She's gotten us out of a tight spot more than once. Yeah, it's true. She's coming. Deal with I mean, I just... You heard the man. Let's move she needs back. to learn to defend herself, and she can also help us, maybe. But it might also be a really bad idea to bring her along, so... I don't know, maybe I fucked us over the moment I said she can come. Ugh. I guess we'll see. <laughs> I'm a little worried, but... This should be it. We're right underneath the center of Crawford. The old school should be directly above us. Look at Ben. Okay. He's looking very conflicted. Remember the plan. We stay quiet. We stay hidden. And we stay together. We find what we need, and we get the hell out before anyone even knows we're there. Got it? It ain't gonna be so easy. That part about staying close, that goes double for you. Yeah. I wonder if I said no, if she would have still, like, she wouldn't have followed, right? What if they're expecting us? Can you imagine I just open that and they're like, oh, hello. 
Can't get a good look above with the cover on. Like, this place has got to be full Let's of go. fucking guards. Although, maybe the guards are only, like, on the edges? There should be guards patrolling. What? Yeah. Disappointed? It's just strange, is all. Yeah, no, this is very suspicious. Over there by the door. Okay. Me and Kitty will sneak out, try to take him out quiet. The rest of Take him out? You want to kill him? Over. Everybody got it? Okay, Kitty, let's do this quiet. No shooting unless there's no other choice. Uh... Yeah, we don't have any silencers either. You should at least try to like just knock him out, not kill the guy. Oh man, this is all going to go to shit. I don't like this. What the fuck? Oh, it's a... He wasn't really walking like a zombie. Could you, could you not hear him growl like a zombie? Maybe this whole place has just been... A walker doing inside here. Oh, it looks like they have Get some problems in here. The whole community might have been overrun. Gotta love the cinematic timing of like you don't see any of them until the moment where the reveal happens and then they all come out, of course. Oh, now we're stuck in a school full of zombies and Clementine's with us. Great. But there's gotta be other survivors from Crawford. Fuck! Fuck! Do you think they saw us? Uh probably. You answer so scared Clementine a little. What the hell? She needs to toughen here? up. I thought this place was supposed to be secure. What always happens, I guess. In the end. The dead always win. Oh, yeah. Man, so screwed. Okay, Ben, calm the fuck down. This is good. No, he's right. I guess. He's right. We can deal with walkers easier than armed guards. Yeah, that's true. I agree. So long as we don't let them box us in, we can still do this. The plan hasn't changed. The plan hasn't changed. Every time walkers show up, the plan changes. Do you even have any idea how many of them are out there? No. You want to do a head count? Or do you want to get what we need and get the hell out of here? Ben, Ben's gonna fuck us over. Come I can on. just I think fucking I know which tell. Way get a grip, I got man. A bad feeling about this. Don't you quote hands solo at me? You hear this little -na 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 in the background? <laughs> They put red X's on the door, so that means full of zombies. There's gotta be Crawford survivors in here. They're the ones that put these marks there. Just keep moving. Molly's awfully cool about this. Here. Something tells me Bree's not gonna survive the night. She just has like kind of expendable written all over her. Looks okay. Everybody in. Looks clear. So I'm sorry. I'm I'm noticing my camera is covering up a little bit of the subtitles. So sorry about that. I don't really know where else to put it. <laughs> Armory. Locked, of course. Okay, so they were trying to organize, like, like they were using this room as yeah. Some kind of command center. Where are they now? Could they all have turned? Maybe they just escaped. Okay, so now what? Where do we start looking? Uh, well, the person who's supposed to know is uh, Bree, because she knows the layout. Here. Just give me a sec. I just, I feel like there's gonna be a traitor among us. Like, is it Bree? Is it Ben? Someone's gonna fuck us over. 
battery, medicine, fuel. Let's get the battery. Any idea where we could find a battery? Maybe at the auto shop. There used to be one in the alley outside the fire escape. Yep, it's called Herman's. You can't miss it. Yeah, that makes sense. What about the where medicine? Would be the best place to look for medicine. Right here, nurses' station. They were using it as a medical facility. <laughs> Why does she look so proud of herself? Just makes sense, doesn't it? Oh, she might have been. What about the fuel? Where you see that look? Looking? You see that look she gave? There's a maintenance shed across from the place. She might have been part of Crawford. If they were storing fuel, that's probably where it'll be. Okay, I'll make the run to the maintenance shed for the fuel. Okay. It'll be faster if I go with you. I can take you right to it. I'll come too. No, two people's enough. You stay here, see if you can use any of those tools we brought to get that armory door open. We might need to shoot our way out of here. I'll go for the medicine. I'll come with you. I know what to take. Okay. okay, okay. Guess that leaves me to go find us a battery. I'll go with you. Watch your back. Okay, we've got a plan. Uh, what about Clementine? Stay close to one another. Okay, we'll I need that weapon here. though. Good luck. I guess Clementine's coming with me by default. Molly's giving me a weird look. What about me? I don't what really trust do? her yet. I need you to stay here with Ben and watch over our command center. Don't leave her with Ben. It, okay? He cannot be trusted. You're leaving me with Ben? I'm not leaving you with Ben. I'm, I'm leaving, leaving Ben with, with you. you. <laughs> Understand? Oh, okay. She's like, oh, that makes all the difference. Okay. Back before you know it. I shouldn't be leaving her with him. This is a bad idea. Oh, I got a bad feeling about this. You okay, Clem? Yeah. This Shit. desk is just like the ones we have in my school. Oh. I know it's weird, but I kind of miss it. That's not weird at all. In school. Uh, so do I. I miss teaching. It's not weird at all. Yeah, it's not weird. You haven't been in school since forever. Hey, well, I was I'm a teacher. Old, and I used to be a teacher. Remember? Does she not know that? American history. Do you think things will ever be normal again? Just like the way they were before? I don't think so, but I should try and reassure her. Remember what Kat said? Yeah. It may take a I don't remember what Kat said. I do. Don't you? I don't actually I think, so. think that, but I'm just trying to be positive for her. Hold on to that hope. It's the one thing none of this can take away. Yeah. It's not. Nothing's ever going back to normal. You okay, Clem? Not for yeah. fucking hundreds of years, probably. Just sit tight, okay? I need to go take care of a few things. All right. Did we at least like leave her a weapon or something so she can defend herself, like just a knife or anything? Just a bunch of paste. Hmm. I have to wonder what's going on in the rest of the world. That's what I was talking about last video. Like things might be different elsewhere. It's a symbol it's again. Quite a system here. Crawford's final solution. Okay, well. Oh, it says it there. Initials of person conducting search. Okay, day since outbreak. So it would have been. So it's been seventy-one days since the outbreak. I guess. It should be more than seventy-one then, because we know there was like a three months jump. Although this card might be a bit older. Number of ineligible citizens found. Number of citizens brought to Crawford. And number of walkers found. Yeah, so that's what I that's kind of what I thought the code meant was like, oh, number of walkers found, stuff like that. Okay, so on the left is the citizens. Ineligible, so that probably means they killed them. And then the people they brought back and the walkers. So killed, brought back walkers. Day since outbreak. Very interesting. I'm glad we saw that. That's gonna be. I mean, I don't know. It might be useful. Hey, man. Hey, you need any help with that? Thanks. I got it. Just once, I'd like to do something useful. You know. I would like that too, actually. Well, uh... I'll let you get on with it. 
No, wait. There is something you can help me with. Something that's been on my mind. I could use your opinion. Okay. What is it? It's Kenny. Since I've been helping him work on the boat, I've gotten to know him a little better. He's a good guy, you know? Yeah. And it's eating me up knowing what I know. I've been thinking Oh, he wants to tell him the truth. Him the truth. Come on. This again? It's my fault Doc and Katja got killed. If I hadn't screwed up back at the motor inn, they'd still be alive. How am I supposed to just carry something like that around? I have to tell him. I can sympathize with you, like, you wanting... Uh, I agree. Oh, no! I think you should tell him. No, just no, no, you didn't. Know. You should. But, you like, the bottom one was so extreme. What am I supposed to do whenever he talks about Katja and Duck? Just nod and pretend like it wasn't my fault. I can't do it anymore. Ben, listen. Kenny seems like he's got his shit back together because right now he's got a purpose. But he's still in a real bad place. You tell him now, he's gonna lose it. And then yeah. they're all screwed. There'll come a time when he's ready to hear it. But it's not now. Not yet. Thank you for being so reasonable and saying exactly what I wanted to say. I'm gonna get back to this. Ah, uh, he doesn't... He's... <sighs> he doesn't seem to like my answer, but it's a very reasonable answer. It's like, look, you, there might be a time where you can actually tell him that. Probably, <laughs> honestly, probably like months or years from now. When he's really like digested the grief and everything. It's definitely not fucking now. Uh, I kind of panicked picking that answer uh, because the other one was like, are you fucking nuts? Which is really extreme and the other one's like, I don't have time for this, which is very mean. So I had to pick the other one, but like, I don't think he should tell him because I think Kenny would fucking... I think Kenny might kill him if he knew that it was his fault. And also... I didn't want to be like, yeah, you'd be nice if you were useful for a change, even though I kind of think that. I just don't want to tell him because I'm trying to be nice to him. I know Ben is like the member of the group I trust the least because he hasn't really done anything. So, I mean, I get that he's supposed to be just like a scared teenager. He just keeps failing us at every turn. No power, no TV. And also, can he plant that seed now where the boat's not going to be big enough for everyone. So how many people do we have to leave out? Uh, Molly's already established that she wants to come with us as payment for her helping us. Omid and Krista just kind of followed us. Like, Krista was opposed to being part of a large group, but now they kind of are. I mean, they never established that they were for the long run, but... We might have to get rid of these two, but like, it's kind of what she wanted. I mean, me and Kenny, we're, we're gonna stick together by now, I would imagine. They, we've been together from the very beginning of the game. And then, so it's me, Clem, Kenny, Ben... I don't know, Ben's gonna have to... Might come back for these later. Any reading material would be nice once we get on that boat. Do you really want to carry this shit? I mean, you kind of have to carry the bare minimum. Mm -hmm. Creepy. Yeah, what the fuck? I don't know about carrying books on the boat. Books. Every time I read books now, I hear it in the voice of George R.R. R. Martin. Books. Of course, if you've been reading the books. So according to Bree, fuel is at the maintenance shed, medicine might be at the nurse's office, and a battery would probably be at the auto shop out through here. I've got a really bad feeling about things. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Oh, look at the oh, look at that. The principles of Crawford. All illnesses and medical conditions must be disclosed to the council. Children under fourteen not admitted without authorization. Anyone asked to leave Crawford cannot return under any circumstances. I'm. I have a feeling Molly is one of these people who left. Theft or looting within this district will not be tolerated. Yeah, but waste not makes the most of your rations. I mean, other than the children thing, the rest is pretty reasonable. Must be the guy who ran this place. The leader Looks of like Crawford. He figured himself as some kind of supreme leader. I bet he did, and I bet we're gonna run into this fucking guy. Uh, 
I can hear the zombos. Nothing in here. I guess. The alleyway to the auto shops down here. God, you scared you me. Or not? Did you have to scream that? We're trying to be silent here. This must be the way to the playground where Bree said the fuel was being stored. Why would I go out? We all have our assignments. Been a Is long it? time since I had to use one this small. <laughs> I mean, probably doesn't work anymore. Bone dry. Yeah. And they must be so fucking thirsty. Should I go in there? Locked. Locked. Uh, didn't need to use a bathroom anyway. Hmm. Okay. More of these principles. They really want you to see those. Shell casings. Shell casings all over. Whatever happened here wasn't good. I'm hearing a lot of zombies. They've already been fired. They're worthless. Yeah. These zombies are really loud, I guess because they're in there. Bloody locker. Logan. Too bad I don't know the combination to any of these. Can't open it without the combination. Huh. What could there be in there? Anything something useful maybe? I think it's empty. Yeah, they definitely oh, looted yeah. looted this whole place. Up somewhere. Yeah. Oh man, can you imagine like if you've been eating almost nothing for months and months? The idea of just like a can of like soda. Uh, that would be like so amazing. It's like sugar. <laughs> oh, there they are. You guys need any help? Thanks, but I think we're almost in. We're taking care of it, Lee. Don't worry. Okay, okay. Alright, so they got it. I guess that's my exit. But like, what about that combination? So I might find a combination somewhere. I'll have to keep an eye out for that. This must be the door to the alleyway where the auto shop is. But where the hell is Molly? I thought she just like came through here a moment ago. Molly, you out here? Don't be too loud. There's fucking zombies all over the place. These people. Guess I'm not going that way. Authorized motor point workers only. Oh! Molly, what the fuck are you doing? Preparing to betray me? What is this bitch doing? Could she be working for... Now that I think about it, she totally could be working for Crawford. Because like, when she met us, she was like, Oh, are you guys from Crawford? And we're like, no. And she was like, you really aren't? And so, knowing that we're not from there, she could pretend like she isn't. Just to lead us into a trap? Mm. I think that's what's happening here. Looters will be shot on sight. Damn. Yeah. Photo ID required. I think she's gonna lock me in here. Oh. Wait, can I not just go through the... Can I not climb this? Okay. Well, now nah, I think that Molly's gonna fucking betray me. Ooh, don't miss your jump. Must be the entrance to that auto shop where Bree said we'd find that battery. Very stressed out right now. Better not get too close. Is 
It's probably going to be pretty loud. Damn, it's jammed tight. It's too silent. Uh, I'm kind of trapped here. Ooh. Leave him. He's mine. Where have you been? Where the hell have you been? Okay, I, I think she had uh, something against this guy in particular. Molly. What? I think you got him. <laughs> I think you got him. One more. For luck. Something tells me you knew this guy. He's medical scrubs. Some kind of scientist or doctor, maybe? Yeah, well, he ain't shit now. <sighs> she had a bone to pick with this dude. Did you find us a way in? Yeah, but the garage door's jammed. Can't raise it. Not a problem. Look what I found. You just oh, found that? Okay. Work. Uh oh. Oh, the fucking fence. Yeah, let's hurry up in there. Hurry up! Go, 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 go. Really? She didn't fucking finish him off? Instead of kicking him, maybe you should have, like, destroyed the head? You know, rule number one of zombie? Take a look around. I'll make sure no stragglers get under this door. You mean like the one you left fucking alive? Unbelievable. Something you need? What was all that about back there? He came at me up on that rooftop, tried to take a bite out of me, so I took care of business. What, you got a problem with me killing geeks? No, it just seemed like you went to town on him a little more than you needed to. Yeah. Hey, you never really know when those things are all the way dead. I was just making sure. You didn't even finish Look, him you off. Get this battery or not, time's wasting. I don't trust you. What do you think happened to Crawford? Don't know, don't care. As far as I'm concerned, these fuckers got what was coming to them. Not a lot of sympathy for all the people who died here, huh? I have about as much for them as they did for the sick and the old and anyone else they didn't think was fit to belong in their little paradise. So mm. yeah, fuck them. Okay. So why did you decide to help us? I told you. I'm expecting a ride on that boat once that hillbilly friend of yours has got it running. You sure that's all of it? You want to keep interrogating me? Or do you want to get the damn battery and get out of here? I'm going to have a look around. You do that. You do that. I mean... It looked as if she helped us because of Clementine. And she's got a real bone to pick with Crawford, so she definitely was part of their community and then she just left and she wasn't allowed to return. And uh, it's only natural that she would care about Clementine because like human empathy. But because this is a story, I think her connection to Clementine is probably because of like Crawford killed her little sister or something like that, you know. And so that's why she has a bone to pick with them because like they took someone from her or something like that. I mean, she's not going to tell us about it, obviously, but... In which case, I guess we can trust her. She seems definitely angry at them. I guess she's not gonna betray us. I still don't fully trust her, though. Maybe there's a car battery in there we can use for the boat. Well, I can see where the battery should be, but it's not. Man, Perfect. good thing this isn't me, because if you asked me to get the battery out of a car, I would be like... <laughs> I don't know where the battery is. Like Crawford had their own semi I don't even know what it looks like. 
Okay, well, there's probably one in this car. That blinking. Yeah, I can see it. Anti-theft system. Good chance of a working battery being in that car. If I can find a way to Ooh, get out. Ooh, an anti-theft. But we need to find a way to turn that off. More of Crawford's rules. No exceptions. Make like it this. last. I'd rather take my chances on the outside. Yeah, I guess so. Looks like it's the hose for the lift hydraulics. Looters will be shot on sight. It's the panel that controls the hydraulic lift over there. No power. Um. Hydraulic hose. Don't think I can pry that hose apart with just my hands. Maybe if I had something to cut it with. Do you really not have like a knife on you? Okay, he has a gun, but like. You should always carry a knife, dude. Like, this is basic stuff. Come on. Something you need? Can I, think borrow, I can borrow that uh, hook thing of yours? I don't know. Hilda and I have been through a lot together. Really give her a Hilda. name? That's what I call her. Don't judge. Please, can I borrow Hilda? I'll take good care of her. She won't get a scratch. And also, it's only for like 10 seconds. I just need to cut something. I got your promise now. Not a scratch. Okay, not a scratch. What does that do? I did it. Oh, because it's a hydraulic hose. That's probably not good. No shit. <laughs> I'll try to hold Why aren't we taking the thing out There's from the under the door? Just Why close the door. Oh, I'm on a timer. Got that one off. It's off. Yeah, let's get this fucking thing and leave. Got it. Yeah, but we still got a problem here. Put it in here. I'll carry it. Just kill them like what? Okay. Oh, me. she's gonna try and steal it from us. Move your ass. Why don't you just kill them like one by one with your hook thing? Okay, well, there's a more of them than I thought. Skylight. It's shot. Shoot it out. Shoot it. You could have just broken it with your hook. Okay, well, she's not leaving me behind, so I guess we can trust her. Cause she has the battery, so. Do you ever stop complaining? Come on. Sorry, I'm not a expert in parkour like you. Do you expect me to do that? Come on, what are you chicken? Jump. She's like, what are you little chicken shit? I don't know. What did you call me? Hmm. <laughs> chicken. Well, now that you mention it. No, <laughs> he's like, well, now that you mention it. Ugh. Ooh, man. Risky business. Good thing there was this one little dent in the roof. Come on. Later. Something I gotta do first. What? Some Catch other you vengeance Wait, you have to take care of? Battery. Yeah, I think I'll hold on to it. Make sure you don't leave without me. See you back in class. Molly! Damn it, what the hell is she doing? I can see why she would want to keep it, you know? Uh, she's smart to keep it, because it's true that otherwise we could just leave without her, so... You've been... You guys are still here? You sure you two don't need any help? We're taking care of it, Lee. Don't worry. Okay, you've just been sitting in front of this fucking door for like 20 minutes. Also... Okay, so they assigned Lee to take care of the battery, but of course I'm gonna have to take care of every fucking thing. What? 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 Help here. 
god, that music like stressed me out instantly. Smush his head! Uh, I mean, it shouldn't be with the hatchet, because we need the hatchet. Okay, I thought we'd have to go outside and help them with the fuel. Each other just yet. Let's get the hell back to the classroom. Give us a hand with these fuel cans. They weigh a goddamn ton. A ton? What are you talking about? We're not that heavy. You're back. Yeah, and we made out pretty good too. Great work, Kenny. How you doing with that door? Not so good. Here, let me give you a hand. Did you get that battery yet? Yeah, yeah Molly, has, Molly it. has it. She should be back here soon. She'd better be. Uh. Bree? Hey, Lee. Thanks for all your help back there. I don't think we would have made it without you. No problem. We're all on the same team. Yeah. Oh, why is the leaving option at the top now? It's usually on the right. That's so weird. What do you think about this whole Crawford situation? I'd rather not talk about it. Too many awful memories. Even being back here gives me a bad Oh, feeling. so you were also part Even of Crawford. Everyone dead? I got no sympathy for what happened to these people. They weeded out the sick and the old. Even children. Those least able to defend themselves so that they could save their own skins. Whatever happened here, however Crawford fell, I consider it poetic justice. Damn, girl, that's cold. <laughs> it's how I feel. If you'd seen what I seen, you'd feel the same. I believe you. I mean, everyone so far is saying how Crawford was like the worst fucking place. And so if all of them are happy about what happened here, I'm inclined to believe them. So you're a cancer survivor, like Vernon and the others. Yeah, I was diagnosed when I was in college. Been getting treatment ever since. Just when I was starting to get better, when I thought there might be some hope, all this happened. Mm. Lost my whole family. I'm the only one who survived. Funny how things work out, huh? Pretty poetic indeed. Okay, now it's on the right. How long, how long have you, have you known, known Vernon? Vernon? Couple of years. He ran our support group. He was really great helping me come to terms with my disease. But how do you come to terms with something like this? With a place like Crawford? I don't know what I or, or the other survivors would have done without Vernon. He's the one who held us together. Kept us alive. Mm. I'm a little busy here, Lee. Maybe you should go get that battery or help with the medicine. Busy with what? I just came to talk to you. We've, <laughs> we've been talking for a while now. She's like, oh, I'm busy. Get the fuck out of here. Hey, Clem. You okay, Clem? Yeah. Why do Where's you look Molly? so sad? She had to go run an errand. She'll be back soon. I hope she's okay. She'll be fine. She's pretty tough. Just sit back. She sure here. is. I need to go take care of a few things. All right. She was even able to like grab us and drag our ass up on the roof, and uh, Lee must weigh like at least like 170 pounds or something. So she's pretty strong. I feel like this, this here, this whole situation, just a time bomb waiting to fucking explode. What do we still need? We already got the fuel and the battery. Once we find some medicine, we'll be good to go. So where's this battery you found? Molly has it. She ran off to do something. Well, she'd better bring it back here. I don't know why you trusted that girl with it. We hardly know her. She saved your life, didn't she? And she saved my life just now. Yeah, but what has she done for me lately? <laughs> Come on, Kenny. Ye of little faith. How are you guys doing with that door? Slower than I'd like. Don't worry, we'll get it open. I think. Well, you're not gonna you're not gonna get it open from just like like just staring at it. Try like picking the lock or like screwing the hinges open or I don't know something.
All right, so I guess I'm looking for Vernon and Krista. Exit to play around. I don't know about that. Sounds like there's a shit ton of warriors out there. They're gonna break through those windows sooner or later. God, I hear them like all around us. Ooh. Oh shit. How the fuck did they get in here? Kristen Vernon must be trapped in there. All oh, right, cuz that's what they were. Uh shooting them not a good idea. I probably don't have enough bullets for all of them. I mean I can't just shoot them all, that's not a good idea. I guess I could, like, distract them. They're all missing their eyes. Damn. Fucking Lee the sharpshooter. But I'm wasting a lot of bullets. Okay, it's me. Calm the fuck down. What the hell happened? They wandered into the hallway after we got inside. I think they must have heard us rooting around in here. The whole How? place is infested. They're everywhere. Okay, calm, calm down. down. Yeah, calm care. down. What about the meds? Did we find what we need? Yeah, that's our other problem. Take a look. Oh, it's locked. Looks like they were keeping all the prescription meds in that safe, locked up tight. Can we just guess the combination? It's a four-digit code. Or bust it open. You do the math. Well, I doubt they just wrote it down and left it here for us to find. I mean, that's what they, they do in all the fucking video open. games. We don't have any other choice. <laughs> okay, you get started. I'll take a look around, see if I can find anything useful. <laughs> it's like, who would write the code and leave it out in the open? Except every fucking game ever made? <laughs> Looks like some kind of medical file. Anna Correa. Guess she must have been a patient here. And what's this? I'm really just snooping in other people's business. It's a medical file for a woman named Correa. Oh, uh, maybe it's Molly? Like, maybe one of these... I mean, it didn't really look like her on the photo, but... It's a medical file for a woman named Correa. She could have changed since then. Might be Molly. Phones probably haven't worked in months. Yeah, no shit. What's this on the floor? It's a sonogram. That's what happened. That's what happened. It's Molly. The file we found, it's Molly. And she was pregnant. And they probably kicked her out because she was pregnant. And so, like, she had to lose the baby. And that's why she fucking hates Crawford. And that's why when she looked at Clementine, she was like, she, she felt something. Because she was like, oh, what if it was my child that I lost? That's what's happening here. I'm telling you. If I'm wrong, I'm just going to edit this out so you won't know I'm wrong. <laughs> There's dried blood on this printout. And on the floor. Looks like a trail of it from the safe to the camera over there. Then out the door. What the hell happened here? From the safe to the camera. Huh. Y'all already checked these drawers? Yes, Lee. Nothing in there worth taking. She says that like it's obvious that they would have checked everywhere, but look at me just finding a bunch of shit that they didn't look for. Uh, already cleaned out. Oh, the, the camera. The way this camera is set up, it looks like it would have had a pretty good view of that keypad. I wonder if it cut someone punching it in. Yeah! If someone was filling themselves and then like someone just going... Someone just went behind them like... Oh, do, 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 do. Empty. Figures. The tape's Convenient. gotta be around here somewhere. Keep looking. Yeah, I got it. Mm -hmm. 
Vernon, Krista, come look at this. This is day 82 since the outbreak. 1547, Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. That does kind of look like Molly. Why are you recording this? Not sure. Regulations. Oberson is He's the doctor that she was attacking. Examinations and consultations. I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh god, oh god, oh god. So is this before the outbreak or after? As you know, the rules are very clear. The oh, it's after. It's mandatory. You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. But you gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I concealed evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I'm gonna give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. He's gonna do the code. I don't want the procedure! I want my baby! I can't do this! I can't do this! Anna, you don't have a choice. Now, if you like, you can take some time with this, but I need you to come back no later than tomorrow, or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. Do the code? Ah, oh, he didn't have time to do the code. I mean, he's an asshole, but he's kind of also just following the rules of the place, I guess. Damn it. We almost had it. Yeah. What the hell kind of place was this? Like Molly said. Exactly the place you'd expect. Lee, maybe there's another tape. We gotta keep looking. I think I recognize that doctor. He was one of the walkers out in the alley by the auto mm -hmm. shop. Maybe you should search it. See what he's got on him. Oh, uh, go back there? I don't, can I go back there? It's fucking infested now. Uh, okay, I don't think that was Molly. Even though it kind of looked a little bit like her, but I think that's just like, same face. But it might be someone she knew. Could be like her sister. Something like that. How's it coming? Slow. Too slow. I'm worried that by the time we manage to get this thing open, it may be too late. Coming with us about Molly. Molly? Molly helped me get the battery we needed. That's great. One down. Where is she? She took off. Had some kind of errand she needed to run. Took off? With the battery? Yeah. Sounds like she wants or to take revenge on someone, I think. I hope so. That girl doesn't really strike me as a team player. More the mercenary kind. Yeah, but she earned my trust because she. Why is this on a timer if I can just talk? If I can just ask about everything. Hey, Doc, uh, I just wanted to thank you for coming with us and for all your help. I really appreciate it. Don't mention it. It's times like these we've got to help each other the most, right? And we're no better than those Crawford sons of bitches. I heard that. Why is this on a timer? How much time do you think Omid has, Doc? You want my medical opinion? The sooner we get him some strong antibiotics to start fighting that infection, the better. Let's just leave it at that, huh? Okay. I'll go see if I can find something that'll help us get that safe open. Good idea. I want to say Molly's earned my trust because... Like, she had plenty of occasion to leave me to die there and just take the battery and just come back like, Oh, sorry, Lee got killed by zombies, but I got a battery. And then just leave with Kenny and the others. Like, Clementine seems to trust her, so I kind of trust her, too. Although, Clementine also trusts the guy on the radio. Speaking of which, I still have the... I can just point to it. I still have the radio. So I'm expecting that guy on the radio to, like, call us at some point before the end of this episode. And, like, it's gonna play into something. I just know it. Alright, so I have to go back outside. How did these zombies get in the hallway, though? Why is the camera so close to me? I don't like that. Okay, so I have to go back out there. Uh, I guess they're all still inside, so I should be fine. Oh, what the fuck? The fuck crushed his head? A TV? But then I'm gonna be stuck on the other side. Oh no, cause the... 
Of course he fucking left. Oh no, there he is. Can't believe she didn't actually kill him. Why would he have the tape on him though? Like that was months ago. I mean, of course it's convenient, but this like. This might be just what we need. And what's this? Looks like some kind of code. But Vernon said the safe combination was only four numbers. Oh, it's gonna be for the locker. Shit! Time to go. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> Shit! Oh, okay, you're just gonna teleport me back? Well, thanks for that. <laughs> I'm gonna see me complain. Logan. This must have been his locker. Well, you didn't even have to enter the tape. code. Safe Another tape. Gotta be on one of these. Probably. I found two more tapes. One of them is dated October 10th. That's the day uh, your lips aren't the first moving. one we watched. Put it in. Um, let's see. Have you made a decision? I thought you said I didn't have a choice. Well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy. Or leave. Or leave Crawford. Yeah. Of course, that would be a death sentence for both you and your unborn child. Maybe that's best. I stayed up all last night thinking about this. Why are we even trying to survive? To keep on living? If this is what it takes. If this is what it's turned us into. I don't make the rules, Anna. Doctor, I'm begging you. Please help me. Maybe one day when things are different, you can try again. But for now, today, we have to do this. What if she kills him and she's the reason she started the whole outbreak in the community? <laughs> yep. Wow, that's some bright blood. No. 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 Yep. She's the one who started it all. But then why would he... Why would he have the tape? I think we know what happened to Crawford. More importantly, we got the combination. Krista, are you okay? What's wrong? Krista, are you all right? What's wrong? It's nothing. That was just hard to watch. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. All right. Let's get those meds and get the hell out of here. Okay, but what about the other tape? We need to watch the other one. We're in business. Antibiotics, morphine. We take as much of this as we can carry. Okay, a sigh of I relief. Think we're good. This is more than enough for your people and mine. Really? Let's go. You know, I found a third tape in the locker outside. Maybe there's something else on there. We got the meds for Omid. That's all I care about. We'll head back to the classroom. Don't take too long, Lee. I think I definitely want to watch this. Let's see what this is about. It's going to be Molly. The video that Listen, starts with just him zipping up. This is the last uh, Why? Oberson had someone down here yesterday taking inventory. He's really cracking down. I just can't risk it. We had a deal. Yes, we had a deal. We don't anymore. What was he My giving her? My sister needs this medicine. Without it, she'll die or Called it. she'll start showing symptoms and they'll take her away. I can't let that happen. I'm sorry, Molly. I've done all I can, but I have to look out for myself here. Yeah, that's the Crawford way, isn't it? Why would you record this? <laughs> well, shit. Uh, yep. Well, shit. That's that's the appropriate reaction. Like, <laughs> that's so fucking funny. It's like. Okay, so is this the tape that was in the locker or the one that was in his pockets? But like, regardless, why the fuck would he film this? And I love, I really love how it just opens with this fucking zipper going zip, just to make it ex abundantly clear what the fuck just happened. Uh, 
That's so fucking funny. Like, just in case you don't understand the implication here. Zip! <laughs> oh, that's great. Uh, okay, so she was fucking the doctor on the side in exchange for some medicine for her sister, and her sister was sick, and she's probably dead by now. Got it. All right. So it's not exactly what I was guessing about her being having been pregnant, but she did have a sister, as I guessed. And it is because something happened to her, and she was in Crawford that she hates them now, and she hates this fucking doctor. But like, you know, if you hated him so much, you should have at least, like, properly killed his zombie version. But I digress. Jesus Christ! Oh, you scared the shit out of me. Where the fuck have you been? Sightseeing. She's always got such I'll a smug look on her face. Oh, yeah, uh, about that. Did you fucking lose it? You're kidding, right? I'm just kidding. This little there shit. Alright. Look at her fucking face. What's that? Nothing. I know you're from Crawford. I, act, I know you're from Crawford. What? Who told you that? I saw you on a you confronted time. Molly about her lie. Why'd you lie to me? I said there were stories about Crawford. I never said that's how I knew about it. I never lied to you, and even if I did, so what? I don't owe you anything. I didn't see you lie twice, but you can't tell me the truth. Are we really gonna do this now? I guess that's up to you. I used to live here with my sister. <laughs> Giving her that teacher she look. Was Fourteen years old. When the dead started walking and Crawford shut itself in, it seemed like a pretty good deal at first. We were safe. Oh, and 14 and years is the survive. the limit age and that they decided. Started coming down. No one who couldn't justify their place, earn their keep. No one who required special care. My sister was diabetic, and by Crawford's rules, that made her a liability. Mm. I kept it a secret. Kept her safe for as long as I could. But in the end, I couldn't protect her. That's when I got out. And she really had to uh, do some. They always talked about how their system worked. Fucked up shit. How anything was better than becoming one of them. But I saw what they'd already become. I just wish I could have seen it before it was too late. Before they came and took my sister away. Mm. This is all I have left of her. I didn't have time to take it before I, I don't care, you can be such an I asshole. I wanted it, okay? It's okay, Molly. I understand. Yeah, I totally get it. She's pretty. What the hell? Well, I don't know if I you had to say that. To get the hell out of here. Who is ringing the fucking bell? Whoa, Jesus! Shit. Ben. Sorry, sorry. I just got spooked by those bells, and then I heard someone coming. Did you leave Clementine alone? No, well, no the others there. are there, we yeah. We still can't open that armory door. You sent me out to look for something we can use to bust it open. I found this. Uh, did you then? take it out the door? Where did you get that? I just found it. It was stuck in the door handle at the end of the hallway back there. Oh no. Oh, shit! <sighs> this fucking dumbass. Oh, she is good at this. Ooh. Lee! Shoot this fucker! Thanks. I didn't do anything. It wasn't me! Good going, kid. Nice shot. Thanks. Wow. She, she could have so easily shot Molly. Holy shit. What the fuck is going on? That was a great shot, Clem. Oh, shit. Because I was like, I didn't shoot. Sir, but now how they were we moving get too out? fast. Through the armory. We could just get this damn door open. Come on, damn you! He's fucked us over one more time. This is my fault, all my fault. The hell's he babbling about? Ben, we talked about this. No, wait. I want to know what he meant. What do you mean, this is all your fault? It's because he I'm took the... so sorry. Not I'm now. so sorry, man. Kid, this ain't the best time. Whatever you did, save it for later. I opened the door. 
they let them in. We don't have time, we don't have time for this right now. We have to leave. I can't do this anymore. He's got a right to know. Know what? It's been me all along, putting all of us in danger. Katja and Duck, it was all me. It was all me. You just did one... Wait a minute. What are you saying? It was me who made the deal with the bandits at the Motor Inn, slipping them supplies. I thought maybe I could keep them off our backs. When it got discovered, that's when they attacked. And that's when Duck... Dude. Kitty, lay off, man! Ben didn't mean for any of this to happen! It was all just a mistake! I don't give a fuck! You little pisshead! You're fucking dead, you hear me? Dead! My wife and child! You got them both fucking killed! Understandable uh, nice reaction. Got here. Not the time. Not right? the time for that little smuggler. Thinks he's getting on my boat after what he did? He's out of his motherfucking mind! You hear me, shitbird? You can stay behind and fucking rot! Kenny, we'll sort this out later. After we get out of here, okay? Ain't nothing to sort out. I just told you the way it's gonna be. The boat's not big enough for all of us. Somebody's gotta get left behind. Might as well be this piece of shit right here! Well, I vote we leave him. I'm sorry, Ben. I know you mean well. But all I want to do is get back to Omid, and you put that at risk. Wait, don't I get a vote? Of course, you, of course do. you do. And it's nice. He's my friend. We don't leave friends behind. That's my vote. Ah, shh. On second thought, I think I'm gonna abstain. Lee? I've seen <sighs> enough of Crawford to know that becoming like them is the beginning of the end. I vote Ben stays with us. Kenny's gonna turn on me. What about the rest of us? Don't we get a say? Sorry, Bree. Now can we go? Damn right. Vernon, come on. Told you she looked expandable. But also, why would she, they vote about who's going on the boat? They're gonna stay in the underground, aren't they? They just wanted meds. So much for the armory. What's left of it? Is there no single, a like, not rounds. a single weapon That's back it. here? Oh man! You didn't close that door behind us. I couldn't. The lock was busted. Great, just fucking great. Come on, there's got to be a way out down here. Okay, I, I want to go against Clementine's wishes, even though I understand why Kenny. Oh fuck! fuck! Close the door. It's not gonna hold. Back upstairs. We're just trapped in here. Lee, look. Okay, what about it? That's not gonna find us a way out of here. Used it. I shouldn't be wasting all these fucking bullets. What? What? What's happening? Get your fucking leg out! Oh sh shit! Did I just die? Oh, what you finding in there? Anything interesting? Okay, a little bit of the leg, a little bit of the shoot, a little bit of the leg. A little bit of the shoot. Uh, no, no, A little bit of the leg. Oh, and now they're upstairs. Dude, I... Was that Clem? Okay, no, it's Krista. You should be killing all of them with melee weapons. You shouldn't be wasting bullets. Oh, just track it, that's a rule. Whoop. This is Sparta! Damn, Lee going on a fucking rampage. Oh no, I lost the hatchet. Shit, I wish I could have kept it. Come on! Did you find a fucking door? 
Everything's all right, Clint. I'm fine. Any way out of here? This leads to the roof. We might be able to find a way down from there. You didn't come into town for the railroad, did you? Yeah, we did. Yeah. Why? Never mind. I can see the sewer where we came in from Why here. Why would you ask I that? Think we can do this. Well, what are we waiting for? What about the go, railroad? Go. What? What's happening? Come on, let's go! Who's ringing the bell? Hush. I mean, I do want to save him. Oh, he's gonna give up on him life. You have to go now. Come on. Let go, damn it. Get Clem and the others out of here. We. And he's gonna be like, come on, just leave him. We. We both know. Let me go. I mean, I could still save you, man. I don't feel great about that. Oh man, should I have done that? Could I have saved him? I just figured I... It just felt so... F oh, fuck. I, it just felt so like final. I didn't think I could save him, but could I have saved him? If he was begging for his life, if he was like, please help me, I, I would have totally helped him. But like he, he, he sounded so resigned. It sounded like he wanted me to let go. Oh, man, I shouldn't I shouldn't have done that. I should have tried to save him. He was just a kid. Like yeah, he fucked up and he did a bunch of mistakes, but like I should have oh, I should have still tried to save him. Fuck. But like in the mo oh man, they They really make you question your own morals cuz you're in the moment, you only have like a few seconds to choose, and I was like, Kenny's gonna be so fucking angry if I let him, if I help him survive, and then it's gonna lead to so much more shit later, but we could have probably sorted it out, like, Kenny's angry right now, but he needs to, like, okay, yeah, a bunch of people died because of Ben, and so you could be like, oh, he has to pay for his crimes. But it's like, he never meant for any of this to happen. He didn't do this on purpose. He, he thought he was helping us. So he shouldn't have to pay, but like... It was an accident. Should he have to pay for it? Like, he already had to carry the guilt. So I, I feel like that would have been punishment already. But maybe it would have been too much for him. Maybe that's why he preferred to die there. Or he was just trying to finally do something for us to, like, help us. But now I'm gonna have to tell Clementine that I didn't fucking save him. But like, of course Kenny's gonna be happy about this. That's what he... Did you see the fucking look he gave me? He was like... He's like, come on. This is the perfect time to get rid of him. Oh man, I really don't feel good about what I just did, but... They could have never... I mean, never say never, but I feel like they could have never gotten along, Kenny and Ben, after what happened. But like, maybe? But, I don't know. I guess it doesn't matter now. Krista? Everything okay? Oh, me! Did he die? Hold on. 
Is he dead? Could you be dead just from that minor infection? I never should have left you. I'm so sorry. Krista, get away from him. He's okay. Uh, hey. Back already? Like you can't just die from an infection oh, like that. Not that fast. Good. Feel like I could use some. And good thing we didn't just attack him like Kenny did in the fucking freezer. Where's Ben? He didn't make it. What happened? Dumb son of a bitch nearly got us all killed. Lee stepped up and did what he had to. Whoa, 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 don't that's say it like that. That's I, that's not what happened. Ah, uh, Kenny. Nice going, asshole. What's eating you? Yeah, I did what I had to. But I don't expect Clementine to understand that. Hell, I don't want her to understand it. You did the right thing. Trust me. She'll understand. I'm gonna go start work on the boat. Okay. With okay, so there's not even any opportunity to deny it. I'll like... stay here for a few more hours to check on him. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks, Doc. Yes, thank you so much. Maybe now's a good time for you and me to have a little talk in private. Yeah, but what? Listen, man, about what happened to Bree. Don't beat yourself up over it. There was nothing you could have done. You want to know the worst part? What? I don't feel much. I mean, I don't feel enough. Shouldn't I be broken up over what happened to her? That's how I was when I lost my daughter. When I lost my friends in those first few weeks. But now... It's like I just take something like this in stride. Like this yeah, is I what our it. world is now, and we'd better just get used to it. What did you want to talk to me about? I know you care about Clementine. Anyone can see that. And I know you want what's best for her. But this plan of yours, putting everyone on a boat with no destination, do you really think that's her best chance of finding somewhere where she can be safe? Because I don't. So I want to make you an offer. What kind you want of to offer? keep her? I'll take her off your hands. Take her back with me to my people. We're well supplied, well hidden, and a lot of us have had kids of our own. And now Crawford's fallen, we got nothing left to fear from them. She'll be safe with us. Safer than she will be if she stays with you, I promise you. That's what you want for her, isn't it? To be safe? You're coming at me with a lot here, Vernon. I need to think it over. Of course, take your time. But I want you to think about some things. You chose to let that boy die back in Crawford. I gotta wonder about the morality of the kind of man who would do something like that. I got to wonder what kind of parent you'd be. Oh man, <laughs> he's got a point. I should have pulled him up. Hey, going somewhere? Yeah, I'm about to head out. I, I just wanted to say thanks for everything. It's been fun. So you don't want to come with us anymore? So that's it? After all we've been through, you, you're just gonna leave? Yeah, I figured you don't owe me anything. I got what I wanted in Crawford, and I never did like the water. Where will you go? I don't know. I'll figure it out when I get there. What do you want me to tell the others? Tell them whatever you want. I'm not real big on goodbyes. Tell Clementine she's going to be okay. You've got a good one there. She reminds me of me. Huh. All right. Man, I really feel like I fucked up. Kenny's working on the boat. I know. What are we going to do after he fixes it? 
Where will we go? <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. We'll figure it out. We always do. Clem, honey, what's wrong? What happened to Ben? What did Kenny mean when he said you did what you had to? Clem, uh, I have to believe me. I tried to save him. I but did. Ben didn't want me to. What do you mean? What Ben did was very brave. He knew we were running out of time. That's kind of what I was him. thinking. He put everyone else in danger. So he told me to leave him behind so the rest of us could get away. I know that's difficult to understand. I understand. You do? Yeah. He thought about other people before he thought about himself. My mom always told me that's what makes a good person. Well, she was right. Before we leave tomorrow, will we have time to look for my parents? Lie? I'd like to I mean, I kind of do want to, but... Have time. You were honest. You shouldn't stay here any longer. It's not safe. But she wants to find her parents, man. Oh. I mean, give her a hug or something. Don't just. has to be like I'll never fucking see them again will I why the fuck would I leave that there she's gonna get called by this weirdo okay I'm staying there oh man is this it is this how it ends nope <sighs> Clementine oh no she's gonna have she's gonna run away Clementine? She's gonna have fucking left looking for them. The guy on the radio is gonna have called her. And be like, I have your parents with me. Where is everyone? Clementine? Did everyone just leave? Am I just having a nightmare? Cause I went to... He fell asleep, so something tells me. That guy's gonna show up. Kidding, right? No, no. It's just a scratch, right? He didn't bite me. Lee? Lee? You out here? Lee? In such a dumb way. What are you doing out here? It ain't safe. Lee? Where's Clementine? She's not in her room. Vernon ain't in the house either. Uh, I'm gonna have to deal going with this on? later. Whose blood is that? It's a walker's. Fucker jumped me from behind. So where's Clementine? Clementine's gone. I found her hat and her radio on the ground out here. That's all I found. There's no chance she just wandered off on her own? No. No way. Then I mean, yeah, she could have. I don't know. Last night, Vernon came to me and offered to take her with him. Said she'd be better off. Son of a bitch. I knew we couldn't trust that fucker. What? Forever it's not was. Vernon. Come on. I have to find her. Kenny, you need to learn to... There's 
something. Let's be honest. I just need to be honest with them. I'm bitten. They give you a second chance to say it. For. Oh my god. No way. No. No fucking way. I'm sorry, man. How much time I've got. I'm gonna need your That's it. That's it for fucking Lee. Who's with me? We're all responsible for Clementine. And in your condition, you may not make it to her in time. She needs our help. All of our help. Damn right. We can't let you do this alone. So that's settled then. We'll look for Clementine together. Hell yeah. What are we waiting for? Thanks, you guys. I appreciate it. Really. You've always been there for me, Lee. Always had my back when it mattered. What kind of friend would I be if I wasn't there for you now? Bitten Thanks, or not, man. I'm with you to the end. You can count on me. Okay, guys. We should go find Vernon. See if he took her. Let's head out. What about the boat? We just gonna leave it unguarded? If someone was gonna take it, they'd have done it already. Besides, what choice do we have? Made me emotional. <laughs> oh man. Really, they're gone? Was it really Vernon? Why would he do that? They just left. Where the hell are they? Looks like they got out of here in a hurry. Yeah, what the fuck? Burn it. Get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. Why do you assume he has Give the her girl? Back and nobody needs to I wouldn't get think he took the girl. Why would he do that? <sighs> What's happening out there? Why do you think it's... Who is this? It's not Vernon, if that's what you're thinking. Yeah, I didn't think it was Vernon. You should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine. But if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully. Who the fuck is this? preview oh I think it's after this did you kill the boy in the attic 25% oh that's like the smallest one we've seen yet I wonder why so many people chose not to kill him Hippocratic oh did you lie or threaten the vermin to bring Clementine with you to Crawford most people who brought her I wonder what happens if you don't bring her did you let Ben fall to his half the people Oh, interesting, like a lot of people showed the bite, so most, cause you're, like, I was tempted to hide it and just kinda deal with it later, be like, oh, I'm gonna choose a better moment to, cause I was scared maybe they'd be like, oh, we have to get rid of you, like, we can't take any chances, but, and when, when, <laughs> when Kenny, like, reaffirmed that we've been through so much together and that he was gonna be with us until the end, 
I got teary eyed, man. That made me emotional. Like, like just the that undying loyalty, is something that really gets to me. We've had our up and downs, me and Kenny, but I'm glad he's sticking with Lee until the end. Yeah, it looks like Lee's on a fucking countdown now. Um, as I kind of expected, I don't think he's gonna make it through too many seasons of this game. Uh, we're probably gonna make it to the end of the first season and then the other seasons are gonna be Clementine. It's kind of what I expected. It's typically how it goes with these kinds of adoptive parent stories. <sighs> I don't understand why they immediately suspect Vernon. Because like, Vernon's given us no reason not to trust him at all. So like, it's kind of weird they jumped to that conclusion. And also, about the offer he made, um, I didn't really have time to talk about it. But it is true that it might not be like a great idea to, be, to go on the boat. But I just figure anywhere that's like away from land is safe from zombies at least. Lee should want what's best for Clementine, but after all the time they've spent together and like he probably feels a lot of responsibility. I mean it's interesting, they don't actually... Like, they give you the choice, but then I guess the choice didn't really matter because uh, of the other shit that happens. But if it was a real choice that we had to make, and like, let's say... Let's say we forget the fact that we know the rest of the series is going to be about Clementine, so... Obviously he's not going to leave her behind, but... If it was a true choice, which I always act as if there are, like, true choices... Yeah, I don't know. I, I think I would accept her staying with them as only as long as I can also stay with them. Because I think Lee would want to keep uh, watching over her personally himself. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't think you could just leave her behind, even if it's what's best for her. Like, could you? I don't think I could. I'd be like, I know we're more. I know we're in more danger out there. But then again, look at that, like this whole place is empty, so maybe something happened, maybe Crawford came in and like kidnapped everyone, or who knows. I know they're not showing me that fucking- oh, maybe that's the guy on the radio was, uh, the, the, cause I know they didn't show us that photo of the leader of Crawford for no reason, there has to be a reason. So we're definitely gonna meet this guy. Could, the, could that guy, the leader of Crawford, be the guy that we heard on the radio? I don't think so. Like, why would he have so much time to waste that he, he can just fuck around on this radio with this little girl? It seems kind of weird. I really don't understand how they got in contact in the first place. Anyways... Who came with you? Oh, so that's who follows you at the end? Wow, it can be... all. Wow! So there are a lot of different branching paths here. Only 13%. Interesting. So there is a way for Kenny not to be here? I guess if you... I guess how you've acted with Kenny throughout the first season decides if he sticks with you here. And uh, probably if you've gotten on his bad side too much, he just goes like, fuck you, I'm going on the boat, you guys deal with this shit. It can even be just you and Kenny, wow. Or you alone. How can it be just you and Kenny? I guess if you don't... Maybe Omid could have died in the previous episode and then like Krista doesn't follow you because she's mad at you. It could just be you and Ben. Wow. This is so interesting. This shows how much uh, your choices do matter. Interesting. Oh man, I, I do wish I saved Ben. Like, I kind of had to take a split-second decision. I was like, well, he wants to die and also he's trying to save us and also like... I know it's irrational. But, like, he had so much guilt about all the moments that he let us down that I think I wanted to give him a moment where he did the right thing and, like, saved us. Even though it doesn't matter, because he's about to die anyways, so, like... In the end, it's always better to save his life. But then I was like, in the moment, I was like, uh, okay, uh, he actually wants to die, he wants to save us, maybe I should, like, let him. And then I was like, oh, Kenny's gonna be fucking mad at us if we don't let him die. But then I was like, ah, oh, man, so much shit all at once. I do regret that choice. If I could play it over again, I, I would try to save him. And see, it is possible for both Ben and Kenny to come with you, so there is a way for Kenny and Ben to like kinda coexist, I guess? It was like a panic decision I had to make, and I don't feel good about it. If I could do it over again, I, I would try and save him. Whew. 
and uh, no preview this time, it seems. I, 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 I think they assumed they ended it on a big enough cliffhanger that they didn't really need a preview for the next episode. Next episode is episode 5, the last one of season 1, so next week we're gonna finish season 1 of The Walking Dead. It's been extremely entertaining, just as good as I've heard over the years when people would say like, Oh, Walking Dead is really great game, it's got a really good story, and I'm only on season 1, so I can't even imagine what all the other seasons are like, but uh, so far it's been really good. I'm really enjoying my time with it, even though it's kinda... You know, a lot of difficult moments, difficult choices. And I get really frustrated at how many times they don't handle the zombies, like, properly. Like, they, they keep using their guns instead of, like, carrying melee weapons and stuff like that. Which is a little frustrating, because, like, if it was me in this situation, I, you know, you would do things different, but... It is what it is. Do we get a preview? No preview. Interesting, that's the only episode so far that doesn't have a preview. That's it for episode 4. So we only have episode 5 left, and I've heard that episode 5 is a little bit shorter, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to do it in a single video. So that means that next week, we're finishing season 1 of Walking Dead. I hope you guys are looking forward to that. I hope you guys have been enjoying the green screen. There's very, very slowly starting to be a few more of you following me now, it seems. Like, uh, each video now is getting like a pretty steady 50 viewers, so there seems to be more of you following me along now. If you're watching this, please, just leave a comment. J j even just to say hi, just tell me a little bit about you, tell me what you think of this game, just tell me what you think of my videos. I would really love to know, like, who watches this, because there seems to be many of you. <laughs> Uh, I just don't hear from a lot of you, so please uh, please leave a comment. You can subscribe if you haven't. You can like the video, it's always nice. If you want to support the channel, my Patreon is in the description. You get early access to videos, you can get a shout out at the end of each video. And uh, eventually I would like to do polls about which games I'm going to play next, so that's going to be it for me today. I had fun recording this, I hope you had fun watching it, and I hope you catch me in the next one for the conclusion of Season 1. The Walking Dead. See y'all.